Yo, what's going on? I don't know if you can see what's going on in the back there, but uh, this is my whirlwind, which I am very excited about. I probably had this on my pin side want list for, I don't know, a few years. I added a few titles on a want list a long time ago and I haven't really like updated it, but there's still a few on there that uh, are applicable like uh, Congo and maybe Jackpot and Stargazer. I mean, the list could go on and on and on. But there was just a few I stuck on there just to, I don't know, maybe to remind myself from time to time what it is that, uh, you know, just throw it on the want list so I know it's there. But this whirlwind I got a couple weeks ago that's a little rough but I'm gonna make it a very nice players condition machine as nice as I can get it um, without you know I'm not swapping the play field I decided I'm not gonna go to that trouble and I'm not removing the mylar because that will cause too much trouble so the play field whatever issues are on there with bubbling mylar I'm just gonna figure out what I can do if I can do anything and uh, the most important thing is make it pretty make it work perfectly and feel the power of the wind that is the goal now can you see no you can't see the toppers on the other side but the toppers very very yellow the uh, shroud or housing or whatever you call it and I'm actually considering an experiment to remove the yellowing. It sounds like a lot of people do it, especially in the old video game department. A lot of yellowed Nintendos and Super Nintendos. And... But I've seen some videos where uh, they've had much success removing the yellowing. So I think I might grab me some hydrogen peroxide, I believe and leave this uh, thing out in the sun for a day or two and see if that works, because it's pretty yellow. I mean, it'd be more of a fun experiment. I can't even probably set up the topper in my basement, so maybe I can remove the, the housing and still have the fan and at least get that effect, because the fan's probably only yay big, but the topper's like, you know, a good foot or something. So, the, I'm not going to really be able to get this thing into the basement till tonight because, well, yeah, maybe I could. We'll see. ACDC's leaving tonight. Gene's coming to grab it around 7.30 or 8, I think. And uh, right now my cart is strapped to ACDC, so I guess I could just remove one strap and then my cart's available. But then I need uh, another human being to help me get this downstairs, so we'll see. And when we do get it inside, we're gonna definitely take a close inspection of the machine and see what we're up against. From what I understand, the displays are not working. It doesn't really boot up. But when I uh, was originally checking it out, I don't think I saw any battery corrosion. So that's a good sign. Probably power supply issue. Uh, I don't know, we'll have to dig into that and find out what's going on there. The head is completely removed, which I guess was necessary in order to get the machine out of the basement. So that's okay though, it makes it kind of easier to get downstairs. And then if I decide I want to send the, all the boards out, now's a good time to do it because there's no connectors attached to the boards. All right. I am now home. Whirlwind is now home. And yeah, we'll bust this bad boy out as soon as possible and take a good look at what it is we got. All right, guess what? Poor Andrew, unsuspecting, he came to my house to drop off the silicone gun he's done with it and I need it for something so he just came to drop it off all innocent and uh, unknowing 
then it dawned on me, boom, I have whirlwind in my vehicle and Andrew is strong, young man. So I hit him up and check it out. He carried the whirlwind head. Oh wait, let's just swap the uh, camera around. So he carried the whirlwind head down. That was step one. And then we uh, carted the body down. Let's zoom out a little bit there. So there it is. This is a long time coming. Whirlwind has finally made it into my collection. I've wanted it for many years. You know, the last experience I had of Whirlwind was I was going to a tournament in Michigan and I think it was, oh, what was it called? Uh, I forget, but there was a lot of big names there, like Trent Augenstein, Angie Rosa, um, there, was, there was a lot. Um, and also the Predator guys were there with the Predator machine. That was my first experience of Predator. And anyway, uh, I, I just can't remember the name of it. I bought a t-shirt though, but um, before that tournament, I knew that whirlwind wind, whirlwind was going to be in the tournament bank so i was actually back in the day when i was playing um pinball arcade so i played a whole shitload of whirlwind on pinball arcade to master the rules and i ended up having to play this game and because of pinball arcade i kind of knew what to do and i applied it and it really worked and come to think of it i played joe saeed in maybe the first round of playoffs on Whirlwind, I believe. I feel like I played Joe Saeed on this game. Maybe, uh, yeah, it must have been playoffs because it wasn't head-to-head -head in qualifying, I don't think. Anyway, he got me. Good job, Joe. Um, and, yeah, he's uh, he's doing his own pinball thing now with uh, running the charity auctions and all that stuff. Like, this, this tournament was seven years ago or something, so. Uh, and we were both very, very green now. He's come a long way, and uh, you know I'm, I've been up to a few shenanigans myself since then. So pretty cool. Anyway, since then I have always had this whirlwind in my back of my mind, like it would be a cool game to have. Here it is, but uh, the trifecta of labor for Andrew was head, body, and play field. Look at this. We've got a main play field. Black hole is almost complete. I mean, this has uh, been a long time coming, but all the pieces are falling in place. Just got a jungle of connectors to uh, deal with. Uh, so, yeah, thanks, Andrew. Much appreciated. He's never going to just randomly show up at my door ever again, knowing that I might put him to work. No, just kidding. He is uh, happy to help. But, uh, yeah, so... Whirlwind! It's time! Okay, uh, let me uh, reassess the situation here. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do. Am I going to put this on legs or am I going to put it on my little cart? If I put it on the pump cart, then I can put the head on and then pump it up into place with the topper. So I think... Let, it, let me put this on the pump cart. And then take off the glass and then we'll really take a close look at this play field and see just how bad or good it is but you can already tell look at the discs they've been worn right down to the bone pretty much but good thing they have replacement decals for that and I already can see I need some uh, new slingshot plastics I might just buy a whole new plastic set okay let me get this thing on uh, on a pump cart here one moment
Okay, uh, she's on the pump cart. Now I gotta see if I got a coin box key, I mean coin door key. Let's see. What do we got in the box? Operator's manual. Oh, how about some light? Operator's handbook. I don't know how handy that's going to be. Diagnostic flow chart. What? Oh, I thought these were chimes at first, but these are the uh, for the head on the inside that secure the uh, hinges that are hanging down by the side there. Yeah, that's promising. Cool. Let's see what we get inside. Hey, there's a tilt bob. Cool. We don't have to uh, drill out a lock. I like that. Okay, now let's uh, get rid of this glass. Lock bars in actually very nice shape. I'm happy with that. I can pretty much see myself putting on one of my new pieces of glass into this guy. Uh, it doesn't actually look that bad. So this would be a good used piece, but I'll probably put in a new one in here. But that won't happen for like a month when I'm done the project and uh, the glass is like the last thing. Okay, let's open this up. Looks like balls were removed. Yeah, three balls are in the coin box. Looks like a three ball game. That's what I thought. Is Earthshaker three balls as well? Yeah, I think so. Whoa. Okay. All right, this is the first time looking in the inside. I've looked on the outside a bit, but. Okay, probably be replacing the barrel spring, although it's not bad, it's not bad. This looks like, mmm. That looks like the ring for an on-off switch. Let's uh, zoom out a bit. I find it focuses a little better. Zoom out. Not in. Anyway, that. Like, you know, the kind of thing that goes on here. So, okay. It's pretty dirty. It doesn't really smell too bad though, but it's filthy. What is, oh, that's the the knocking is those hinges. Okay, there's really nothing in here to, to speak of. I do see a bolt, a nut way back there. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like there's a couple nuts. Maybe one of the leg brackets is stripped, so they put nuts on the inside. We'll have to investigate that, but yeah, look at this. What's going on with this? Is this, somebody replaced the power switch? Is that what's going on here? That does not look original. Ah, see, I was on to something. That is not the original power switch. This probably came from the original power switch. That works and everything, but I'm gonna be changing that to a smaller switch because I have them and it's easy to do and this is just sloppy so there we go that's the fun part you hunt in the cabinet and you can find clues as to what is needed but in terms of coils and mechanisms and little red lamp boards those are cute because uh, a lot of the sample games used red circuit boards but i know my boards are not 
red in the head. But holy cripes, look how worn. Oh, it's all juicy too. Look at this um, link here. First of all, that link is metal. Somebody made a link before they were readily available maybe, or they just didn't want to go shopping. Cause you know, many years ago, not all these parts were super available, but, and yeah, so that, look at the play in that too. Yikes, it <laughs> would flip like garbage. And on this side, uh, that, can't tell if that's metal or not, but yeah, we're going to be doing a full rebuild on these guys and get rid of these conical springs, get the ones that go on the outside. Uh, they are much better. Do they have the holes already drilled in these brackets? Hmm. I might have to drill a hole in the bracket, but that's okay. Okay, so here's the whole disc spinny thing. Never really laid eyes on one of these. From the underneath. Man, somebody lubed like everything. Look at this. Uh, I think somebody got a little silly with the lubrication. So I need. Yeah, this is three flippers, isn't it? Okay, drop targets. Interesting. This is uh, gonna be a lot of work. This one has been played hard. Probably because it's such an amazing game. Inspected by Jay Lindsay. Let's close this back up. Okay, it uh, looks a little corrosion-y in there. We'll remove the apron, of course. Some residue of some sticker. Okay, here, this is the tour of the playfield. Let's uh, check this out. Oh, white rubber, black rubber. So, new slingshot plastics needed. But, okay, one good news right now is that these inserts are actually Perfect. That's great news. The special, special, um, yep. Yeah. Then once we start getting up here, we're gonna need new decals for this. Maybe sand this down a little bit. This scoop has, these scoops, had some pretty good wear, but I believe um, a cliffy set should uh, polish that up nicely so I'm probably gonna add that to the list I'm gonna replace a bunch of these switches let's just look how bad this switch is over time let's just really let's uh, let's uh, try and zoom into a better range here okay it's not really focusing sorry but and look at this switch <laughs> can you see that here I'm gonna do this there we go. Look at this switch. And this one, oh my god, it's like loose too. Wow. The bracket's loose. The switch itself is loose. You can move the bracket one way and the switch the other way. So, new switches. We're gonna probably want some new plastics. Uh. Yeah, this is super loose too. Might need a new one of these guys. I'm probably gonna splurge and buy all new switches, new drop target decals. We're gonna need to do that. Hey, look, elastic bands. Feel the power. But we got a broken plastic here. Man. Before I do anything, looks like I gotta go shopping, eh? New plastic set. All new switches, basically. Wonder how this up-down ramp it works. 
Uh, all new flipper rebuilds. What else do we got? Cliffy set. Maybe, uh, oh shit, look at this ramp. Yeah, that's a little cracky. But if I beef that up with a piece of Lexan, I might be able to preserve that from actually, actually breaking. Fortunately, it's not chunked off and the chunk's missing. I might be able to repair that. Oh, what's going on here? Can you see this? What is happening? Does that just clip in? Oh, I see. There's a clip on either side and one is broken off. Hmm, I've never really seen that before, but see, this has it. It's a clip there and a clip there. So I guess I'm gonna need to try and source one of these plastic dome receivers. I've never uh, really seen one of those before. Not even in my fun house. So I need one of those. And this ramp is seems to be okay. I'm gonna have black hands by the time I'm done touching everything here. Uh, spinner. I'm gonna assume that's the original decal. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. So the inserts, let me, I gotta zoom out here because I feel like I'm, uh, I'm looking at stuff and you're not seeing what I'm looking at because I'm too zoomed in, but I gotta zoom in to focus. Okay, this is gonna be the issues here. See this? There's a little bubbling in that mylar. There's some bubbling going on here. Like that just, it feels as bad as it looks. I don't know what's going on there. These inserts are actually nice this has some bubbling mylar but that's not bad i just want good looking art i can live with that i can tolerate that uh one weird thing yeah this is weird can you see this let me change my angle see all these like ripples that is, you can feel those ripples in the wood. And I don't know if that's just mylar or what, but this little crusty mylar in the corner, I can at least trim that off and I can make that look a little better. This rippling, it kind of carries over all around here. These inserts, they don't, they're not horrible, but there is some bubbling going on there. But the ripple zone, see that? What is going on there? It's harder to see on the, the white art, but you can see on the blue that, is that the wood or is that the mylar? It's probably just the mylar. Just kind of like shrinking up over time. Wouldn't make sense. The wood doesn't ripple like that, so it has to be the mylar. It almost feels like it could affect the trajectory of the ball, though, so. There's only so much I can do about that, though, which is practically swap the play field, tear off all the mylar, or leave it. I think option three is going to be on that one. So. This zone here is the worst. Couple rogue inserts. This one here, what does this say? Shot. That's not too bad. That's not too, too bad. I thought upon my first investigation, I saw an insert that looked like it was missing all the letters. It was up here. Here, this is the one. Maybe when this is lit up, I'll be able to see it better, but this is probably one of the, like, northwest, or what is it? It's probably green, so southwest, maybe. Uh, can't really see the art, but 
all in all, it's kind of tolerable. Just don't love the wrinkle zone. I can make it a little better. This is really bubbled here. Can you hear that? So I might try and like take my X-Acto knife and cut around, cut around here and around there and get rid of at least that. Uh, I don't think the art's coming up with that. And then stuff like areas like this, I can definitely trim that mylar off and make that look better. So there's stuff I can do and there's stuff I can't. But I'm excited for the challenge and for the restore. Yeah, this is awesome. This is, you know, you take them when you can get them, right? I am certainly not complaining. I am super happy about getting this machine. Oh yeah, pop bumpers, we'll need to rebuild all those. This just is basically rebuild everything to so old and, and well loved and used that it needs to be really spruced up pretty much. Take apart every mech. Oh, six pop bumpers, right? Thanks, Lawler. <laughs> Okay, well, diverter, uh, this is awesome. All right, cool. Well, I think uh, I think I can uh, work with this, so uh, I'm not sure what my next step is, but stay tuned, there will be more. Well, duh, the next step is checking out the head, of course. So, this video is not over yet. Okay, check this out yellowed shroud as usual. Someone added corner brackets to it, which, you know, kind of did the trick. Meta prevented future crackage, breakage. Uh, so, you know, I'm gonna look into that uh, technique about getting rid of the yellow and old plastics with some peroxide and UV light, so. I'll be removing this, but here's the translate speaker panel. Um, apparently the displays don't work. Let's uh, get in this bad boy. Come on. There we go. We got action. Oopsie, that was the opposite effect I wanted. Oh, look at that. Feel the power of the wind. <laughs> so cool. Okay, I think you have a new lift channel, I think. Oh, maybe, eh, there's a little bend here. Oh, shit. And a little chunk out of the corner. So, might get me one of those lift channels. Replace that. Okay. Some pretty crusty looking light bulbs. They will all be LED. So we got some blinker bulbs though. What does one do to replace blinkers? Does one put in LEDs and do they work? That's something I'm gonna have to look out too. I've never had to deal with that before. Okay, let's see what we got inside here. Okay, first thing we're going to check, obviously, is the batteries. Ooh, I left them in for two weeks. How dare I? Uh, probably, they're good till 2018, too. Wow. Okay. Let's uh, remedy that ASAP. We need my little flatty. That should do the trick. Okay. Let's get rid of these guys. Let's see. That doesn't look too bad. Hmm. Is it possible to have a no corrosion on this board? Uh, uh, no, it's just a really banged up battery. No corrosion. One more. Hmm. 
Look at this. This is crazy. There's no corrosion. If there was going to be any, it would start here and then start dripping down. Look how shiny those legs are. That's a really good sign. I don't see any corrosion. That is great news. So, the next thing we got to look at is the power supply because if the displays aren't working, it could be this. I do see a little bit of suspicion here. That diode looks like it might have been replaced, possibly. Uh, so I'll check the fuses. This cap, these caps should be replaced. Probably all these guys, maybe these guys. Uh, yeah, but no major burn marks or anything crazy. And then what else do we got? Soundboard. Looks okay. I don't know what this, this has some transistors in it. So it's like extra solenoids or something. These are some big tip 36C transistors it looks like, maybe. Could it have something to do with the uh, topper? There's a connector here. Oh no, the topper, oh yeah, here, here's the topper board. There we go. Looks to be okay. And this sort of auxiliary, whatever the heck power board it is. All the fuses big diodes, some more what are possibly 36C transistors, let's see, the tip 36C, yep, a lot of those big boys on there, bridge rectifiers, ooh, and a big giant capacitor, holy shit, look at that guy, okay, Another bridge there and a fuse there. I'm gonna assume this is all factory uh, till I find otherwise. Oh, and this look, this is like a whole extra board down here, maybe a switchboard. Is it lower lamps, lamps, cabinet, lower playfield switches? Holy shit, this thing is packed. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight if you count the display, boards. Wow. That's, uh, sheesh. There's still a lot of connectors in these boards too, really. It's not, they're not bare. So, I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is press my luck. I am going to hook this bad boy up and then test the voltages on the power supply. Because I think if either, I don't think it was booting up. So we'll start with the power supply and then uh, I guess go from there. But yeah, I think uh, this video is getting long. So I'm probably going to call that part one of Whirlwind. Another board there. Looks like it controls like the blinky lights maybe or something, some lighting. But yeah, so exciting day. I'm feeling the power of the wind and hopefully you are too.